Welcome to the CFN Fish Off Season, season two. 2. So we're here with Mr. and Mrs. Beeler. That is a big smallie. Officially chained pickerel. I have a little grass pickerel here. Yummy. And we're going to be doing a little multi-species fishing. Ah! This year we have four teams representing three provinces. From Toronto, Ontario and last year's champion, Michael Consul, with his team member, Kenneth C, aka my first Whirlpool fish. We're coming for you. Yep. And from Orangeville, Ontario, we have the casting records, Eva Wickens, oh, it's, it's big. Let's, let's get this, and Chris McCoy. Nice. And he's gone. <laughs> Take care. From Labau, Provence, we have our online CFN right, Fish Off champions, the Kingfishers, with Tim Wisdom, Whoa. And Bradley Rasmus. You Kingfishers? Playing for season two. From Alberta, we have Alberta Gold. Good luck, everybody. Tight line. Terry Robertson. Season two. And Dean Van Sevenen. Yeah, baby. The goal of the CFN Fish Off is to catch as many species of fish as possible. The largest fish in each species gets four points. The second largest gets three. Then it's two points, and then, of course, one point team with the most points after six weeks are crowned the CFN Fish Off champion. And on behalf of the Canadian Fishing Network, the winner of the CFN Fish Off gets to donate $500 to the charity of their choice. Now let's check out the action of week four. Yeah. So today we're gonna to do something a little bit different. I've been trying to catch creek chubs like five different times and can't get an eight incher. So hopefully I can do two things. One, finally get an eight incher, and then two, take a page out of Mark Beeler's book, take that creek chub, use it as bait to catch something bigger. In season one, he caught a muskie. So here is where I am fishing today, this little creek. Let's see what I can get. First cast, Mr. Beeler, this is for you. See how fast it takes. And there goes the bump. First cast of the day. First fish. Too small for bait, I think. So I just got a text from Ken. Let's see if I can read it. He said, four points, baby. No one's gonna match this. And I asked him what it was, and he said it's a grass, a grassy. So I'm thinking. A grass pickerel. I gotta see it. Can't wait to watch the video. Now I need to find an 8 incher, but that is amazing bait. That is a great size bait. Getting bigger. That's gonna be musky bait. Still need an 8 incher. So we picked worms, and with the worms, we caught some creek chubs. And now with these creek chubs, we're gonna go catch a musky, or maybe a laker, or maybe a walleye. Biggest one of the bunch. Oh, this one's gonna catch me a big muskie tomorrow. And maybe, it can also give me four points. Oh, well, this, give me four points. Seven. All right, we got our bait. Now let's go catch a muskie. Nice, from a pike or a little muskie well you can tell those vertical stripes pale vertical stripes in crossing through the pale cross uh, vertical stripes there's a horizontal stripes and if you look at the eye here there's a teardrop going to the corner of the jaw and also the, the gill plate right there is scaled so 
that indicates a little grass picker oak. If we look at the back, we can also see a pale stripe going down the middle. Now I need to revive this little guy here for a bit, so I'll see you later. Alright guys, I cut a grass picker oak that may measure. Alright CFN fish off, Ken here, I cut a little grass picker oak that's 8 inches. Oh, he'll be a four point fish. I don't think any other team can find one. Very little beautiful fish. And there he goes. That little guy actually came after my lure two times. He came after it once, wouldn't hit it, just keep smacking at it but wouldn't take it. And then the second time I had it near him, he smacked it a couple of times and finally took it. Oh, that's awesome. I'm very glad to have a grass pickerel entered for this contest because they are found in small little stream. They're, they're fairly rare in Ontario so I'm glad you guys get to see it. This is the type of habitat that I'm fishing for them. Really really small creek. Well, that's because that's moon eye. Here, I got the net. Little rainbow. Got it! What's a nice rainbow! See a fin fish board season two, guys! Rainbow trout. Upgrade for sure, 15 inches. Look at that, guys. Oh, we gotta put them back on the nose. Lift up so we have it. Alrighty, let's let it go. Get right in with the net, man. This is probably my biggest trout. Nice rainbows here, eh? Yeah. Okay, that looks like it could beat my 16 and a half. There we go. Almost 17 inches. Catch something. Bowfin is what we want. We want a bowfin. Bowfin's hopefully what we're gonna get. Hey guys, it's Ava, the casting directors. I am exhausted. We've been all around the Toronto Islands. I am so tired. We haven't caught in one fish yet, and I'm so upset. I've had a couple nibbles. That's about it.
swim here for the kingfishers and uh, I got a largemouth so this is exciting. Anyway stay tuned to this tutorial in this episode because um, I'm going to teach you guys how to catch largemouth bass in, uh, in fairly shallow water. So you don't want to go deep so we're looking at lipless crankbaits, spinnerbaits, stuff like that. There it is. Get it on board to the nose just to be sure 14 okay. first of all measurement on this guy he is huge there's your shot. You know, I'm gonna say 17. 17 inch largemouth, beautiful. All right, another new species for the kings. Uh, officially chain pickerel. That is pretty cool. So I'm really happy about that. And again, you're gonna catch these where you're catching largemouth. Uh, in the weeds and stuff, you're gonna get, you're gonna get chain pike. I know in Ontario, you guys, a pickerel is, is a walleye, but that's just crazy because this is a pickerel. And right to 19. So we'll let you get a screenshot of that. I'll go ahead and release her. I'd like to thank all of our sponsors that help us in our last CFN fish hop. And a special thanks to Handlebar Lures for providing us the official CFN Fish Off bump board. Entering this drum, 22 inches. Nice. There he goes. See Ben. Here's one for a uh, long nose. Here's a long that, nose sucker. Is it a long nose? Yeah. Let's check the. accessible fishing is, the CFN Fish Off does not allow any gas powered boats. Things like inflatables, kayaks, canoes were all permitted during this event. 
so here I am at Island Lake again, fishing with my partner Chris McCoy. Oh, I got something. What do I got? I just smashed it. Oh no, it's a pumpkin seed, but it's a good one. I thought it was a bass. Or it's not even that good. I'm gonna re-rig this, tie it differently so I can put on a bobber. And I'm gonna put it in there. Hey guys, sorry I didn't capture this on film. I got a perch. I don't think he's gonna beat him. We got a rock bass here in the net. And I think he's going to be a four-pointer. He is touching the bump board. Oh, he's not as big as I thought. He measures in at... All right, and I'm back again. Watch this, okay? I swear. I cast, it drops, and I get nibbles, like, right away. Except for this time, because I'm trying to videotape. Let's cast again. See what happens. All right, we're in the water, and five, four, three, two, one. Got this one. <laughs> this one's small. This one's small. Oh, it's a little perch. Hello, Perchy. Thanks for coming to visit. So we're here with Mr. and Mrs. Beeler. I had a question for you. Everyone wants to know, whose fault was the canoe trip? It was Mark. <laughs> it was so Mark. <laughs> the canoe tip. <laughs> you think it was Mark's fault? Yeah. If you guys watched season one, week three, I believe, canoe just, you watch the footage and then you could vote who you think actually is fault. Mark Beeler. That's a very good Mark thought he was dragging a log, but he's actually hooked onto a fish. <laughs> you got the net, Erica? Uh, over there. Oh, a big one. That is a big smallie. Oh my gosh. Woo! Right. Mark Beeler with a monster smallie. Not bad at all. Sweet. Mark makes fish look small. He does make them look small. <laughs> Pretty much 19. That's a big smallie. <laughs> Erica Beeler in bare feet. Now the fish is on. That is one. Big, smally. 
Look at that. Wow. <laughs> 19. That would be a four point smallie right there. Wow. That is a big one. That's bigger than Mark's. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> one more question. Okay. So, week five, you guys were leading. And I think after week five, I'll, me and Ken will probably be leading. Right. Like, what advice? you can give me and Ken so that the same thing doesn't happen. We're, week, we're winning week five and then all of a sudden another team comes out of nowhere and, and takes us down week six. Um, just keep on fishing and don't even take for granted of where you are with the point. Mike's hooked up. Oh, it's pulling. Oh my gosh. It has some weight. Oh, it's a, it's a sheep. It's got to be a sheep head. There we go. Now look at this 12 foot rod bending. This is only my second sheep of my life. But this time you're targeting it though. Yeah. That wasn't an accident. <laughs> yeah, that first sheep season one was by mistake. This time. And this is a big girl. Is it a big sheep? Yeah, she's a big girl. Oh man. Beautiful. Erica's on it. Now this is what he came down here for. This is the drive to Cornwall right here. <laughs> the sheep were Yeah, the baby. <laughs> Personal best. Sheep head. <laughs> Hold it like a baby. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. All right, let's put it on the board. 24 and 3 quarters. Sheep head for the defenders. 24 and 3 quarters. Oh, she took off like a champ. That is worth getting my feet wet. That's awesome. For my first so best she had. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But it was red on the last day. Caught like yeah, four species. Red put you guys that, over the top. That was something. Yeah. If red didn't catch a single fish that day, we would be it would be tied. Totally tied. So. Red should have stayed home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, he stayed home for five weeks. <laughs> yeah. oh. oh my gosh. I hope yeah. Red does. Alright. Switch it up. Do another type of rig. Drop shot rig. And let's see. Oh, it is peeling. Let us see what we got. Oh, looks like a nice sheep, eh, Mark? It's very possible. Now this bite on this smaller rod is so much different than using your 12-foot rod, Mark. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, your rod was just forcing, forcing that sheep head in. Where this one, I really got to work for it. Oh man, my arm's tired. <laughs> Will this beat my PB sheep? This rod is bent. You called it. There was tap, tap, tap on the line, and you're like, those taps are gonna turn into a rod bend. And this rod is bending. There it is. Yeah. Does it beat my personal best sheep head? Don't know. There it is. Let's measure it up on the board. 26 and a half plus sheep head. Beauty. What a beaut. Yeah, Cornwall sheep head. Hey guys, how's it going? Kevin Fernandez here from Easy Fishing and I hope you're enjoying the CFN action. So today's quick tip on uh, fishing is packing light. Uh, so let's talk about gear. All I usually carry with me is a simple GoPro, GoPro camera which is probably excessive stuff already. No more than one to two fishing rods and a backpack. In that backpack what do I usually carry? Two tackle boxes, some bait, 
pair of pliers and a scale for measuring and good measure. I often find when I go out with fishing guys that uh, they usually bring three, four, five different rods. And I'm like, dude, why do you have all these rods? And they're like, oh, because I want to try all the different presentations, man. And it's like, yeah, but we're on foot. So you have to pack up all those rods and move with them to the next spot. When I'm fishing, especially for uh, fish in urban areas, I usually take no more than two rods. Usually I'm only taking one. And I'll take a net with me and a backpack, and that's it. That way I can move fast, I can cover water efficiently and effectively, and be confident that with that one rod, I can get as many presentations into the water as I can for the different types of circumstances, rather than having to set up, drop a rod every time, pick up another rod, retie it, cast it, having to struggle to carry all the rods without getting them tangled, and ultimately doing less fishing. So remember, it's you against the fish. It's not, it, it doesn't, you don't have to use that many tools to catch fish. They have a brain the size of a peanut, guys. All you have to do is just catch one fish, one net, and one backpack, and with, with those tips, you'll put a lot more fish on land. This has been your Easy Fishing Tip with Kevin Fernandez. Cheers. Here's one for Alberta Gold. CFN, don't know what it is. Oh, it's another sucker. Oh, that's a nice sucker. That's a gorgeous sucker. I have no idea what kind of sucker it is. Nose? Not an upgrade. Well, it depends on what it is. I think it's a large White scale. sucker. Well, a light sucker. Look at that. See the fin? I... We're learning, guys. See the square and the up? Yep. White sucker. Not sure what ours is at, but it's probably an upgrade. Not an upgrade. <laughs> yeah. Okay. There we go. Here's a bull trout. Make sure that you guys can see it with the spots. Make sure that's a bull. That's a bull. It's the red dots that have me confused. So nose. Tail. Up. Move your hand. There you go. Hey guys, what's happening? Moose from the Ontario Fishing Club here. I want to take a quick second and show you guys this sweet SLX combo and tell you how you can win. Now, you're asking, why did I show that to you? You, as a CFN Fish Off participant, will get a chance to win one of these. If you haven't had a chance yet and you want to register, go to www.cfnfishoff.com and register for the CFN Fish Off online tournament. It's that simple. All you got to do is use this win one of these. So join the upcoming CFN Fish Off online tournament. It's just that easy. Now I won't take up any more of your time. Don't forget to use the hashtag Shimano rules. 
measure your fish, and win. So once again, my name is Moose from the Ontario Fishing Club and the OFC Nation. Now let's get back to the CFN Fish Off action. One of the coolest things about the CFN Fish Off is if you take out a young angler with you, their catch and their points count towards your score. And we are live, back with the boys, back in town. So, Henry, say hello. Hi. Say hi, William. Hi. Say hi, Charlie. All right, and what are we fishing for today, boys? Pike and bass. Yeah. I just opened it. It's a bit rainy and it's pike like rainy. Yeah, we got pike weather. We got a nice, smooth lake today. So, you remember what lure you have on, William? No. Don't remember? It's a little rapala bait. And what about you, Henry? Do you remember? You don't remember? It's a daredevil spoon. He got the most classic pipe bait there is. In Eastern Canada, anyway. And we'll get back to you guys with some fish. All right. Big fish? Yeah. Yeah? Still fighting? All right, when he pulls line, when you hear that sound, you don't reel in, all right? Yeah, oh, oh, oh. yeah, let him run, let him run. All right, is he gonna jump? He's gonna jump, ready, ready, ready? Oh, he almost jumped, he turned around, he changed his mind. Yeah. Turn that up. All right, now you can keep reeling. All right, you wanna know a trick? When it's a really big fish, what you do is you pull up on the rod and then reel down. Yeah, that's a good fish you got, man. Oh, 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 he's right by the boat now. There you go, you can jump, woo! He's jumping and fighting. All right, I'm gonna come help land him. All right, we got William here with his trophy smallmouth. Hold him up, hold him up for everybody to see. Look at that. I think that weighs maybe two pounds even. Two pounds? Is that your biggest smallmouth ever? Yeah. Yeah? Sure. Biggest, best fight ever? It's better than a pipe. Look at that nice bass. There he goes, swam away. Oh. So is it a fish? Yeah, I see, it's a bird. I, I think it's so tired because it was on for a while and he didn't realize. <laughs> Look at it, it's not even fighting, he's just coming in on the surface. <laughs> oh, did he come off? Oh, there we go. Perch eats perch. <laughs> there we go. All right. All right, so is it fighting? Henry, kinda. It's not a monster. Whoa, 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 don't do that, you're gonna lose him. But it's gone. Yeah, all right. This is the pike I saw. Yeah. Bye, bye. Woo! Charlie's got the biggest fish in the lake right here. Hey guys, it's Ava of the casting directors. There's my husband Steve. There's Emily. And there's Nicole. We're fishing as a family today. We don't get to do this that often. My daughter Nicole caught a perch. Actually, that's a nice one. Let's take a let's take a measurement just to see. Nice green colors. Emily's got a nice perch on. Bring him in. Bring him in, Emily. Good job. So I had Emily set up on a bobber earlier. She had no luck. So I switched her up to a drop shot and she caught that right away. Steve caught his first fish. Oh no, get that guy. Emily, how many perch is that for you today? 20 hundred. And our worms are almost done. And this is our last little bit. And then we're gonna go. Steve caught some fish today. Nicole caught some fish today. Emily's pulling in a fish right now. And Nicole has a fish. Good job, girls. Everyone have a fun day? I'm happy my girls like fishing. Thanks for watching. And of course, there's more footage from week four that will be released in our next episode. But in the meantime, don't forget to follow us on Facebook, subscribe to our CFN YouTube channel. The Canadian Fishing Network would like to acknowledge all of our amazing sponsors. Handlebars Musky Lures. Impact Baits. Sid Fishes Kids. Jar Fishing. Gremlins Custom Baits. MFS Quality Fishing Tackle Ugly Boy Baits Bam Baits Larry's Lucky Leaders Fish Magnet Baits Set the Hook Chrome Fish 
SIB Sport, Bait Club. I'm Scotty. I'm Red. And on behalf of the Canadian Fishing Network, we'd like to thank all of you for watching.